For the next part of this demonstration, I will be showing the effects of rate limiting and queuing, in particular drop tail, on both stateless and stateful traffic. So let's go back into the Shenra and adjust the impairments in the simulated network. Let's reset the latency back to the default setting of zero milliseconds. And let's reset our packet loss back to zero packet loss. And okaying out of that, going back to the Shenra main GUI, we can now set the properties of our simulated router. First, let's enable the network interface. And then set the bandwidth limitation or rate limiting to 300,000 kilobits per second or 300 megabits per second. Then let's set the queuing mechanism to be drop tail for both the outgoing and incoming queues with a queue length of four kilobytes. And we'll just apply the same queue length of four kilobytes to the incoming queue as well. Having defined our simulated router, we can OK out of that dialog and return to our Agilent N2X GUI. With our setup complete, we can again start the N2X traffic engine and then enable stateless traffic. We can quickly see that the effective throughput tops out at about 300 megabits per second. Then disabling our stateless traffic and enabling our state full traffic, we immediately see that we get about 500 timeout events per second and over 1,000 uh, fast rate transmit occurrences per second. Uh, but more importantly, the effective throughput or the good put uh, maxes out at about 150 megabits per second, which is a dramatically different value than the stateless example uh, we just saw a second ago. So once again, let's stop all traffic and summarize our results. As we can see in the graphs, the stateless traffic as shown by the first part of the graph on the left maximizes out at about 25,000 packets per second, while the stateless traffic um, in terms of pure traffic maxes out at the same value, but in terms of good put packets maxes out at about 13,000 packets per second, showing that the effective capacity uh, of the line with rate limiting and uh, tail drop queuing management is dramatically different with stateful traffic as compared to stateless traffic. So let's proceed with the final part of our demonstration, which is to show the effects of rate limiting and a different queuing mechanism, this time random early discard or RED queuing on both stateless and stateful traffic. So let's go back into the Shenra and reconfigure the simulated router. This time, let's set the queuing algorithm to RED with the minimum threshold set to 2000 kilobytes and the maximum threshold set to 2500 kilobytes. Likewise, let's apply the same queuing settings to the incoming queue. Again, with min thresh set to 2000 kilobytes and max thresh set to 2500 kilobytes. With the Shenra reconfigured, we can return to the Agilent N2X GUI. Once again, we start the N2X traffic engine and then enable the stateless traffic. We see that the receive throughput maxes out at approximately 300 megabits per second. No surprise there. Disabling the stateless traffic and enabling the stateful traffic, we see a dramatically uh, different result start to emerge with a, an oscillatory pattern of uh, received good put going back and forth in a range between about 140 and 100 megabits per second, a very different result from the stateless experiment a moment ago. So we will now disable our stateful traffic and stop the test by disabling the N2X traffic engine. To summarize this final part of our experiment, the stateless traffic model produced an effective throughput of about 25,000 packets per second, whereas the stateful traffic model produced 
an effective throughput varying in the range between 11,000 and 16,000 packets per second, as shown by the wavy line in, on the right part of our display. A very different result between the stateless and stateless models. To summarize, we have demonstrated both stateless and stateful traffic blasting in a variety of scenarios, including back-to-back, -back, uh, lossy conditions, lossy and delayed conditions, with tail drop queuing and with RED queuing. The conclusions from this demonstration are that stateful traffic produces a dramatically different result from stateless traffic when measuring effective throughput. And the reasons behind this are due to the retransmit and timeout events in the TCP protocol behavior, which are in turn caused by the loss, delay, and queuing behavior of the routers and networks themselves. Which brings us to our high-level conclusion, which is that testing with stateful traffic is a critical step in characterizing router performance under realistic conditions. If you would like to inquire or learn more about the Agilent N2X, please visit us at www.agilent.com slash find slash N2X. And likewise, for the Shunra products, please visit www.shunra.com. Once again, thank you for taking the time to watch this demonstration.